This weekend was the weekend I decided to start on getting through the makeup, skin care, the entire load of beauty products that I am trying to get through and use because I'm on a no-buy for a whole year. Remember we talked about that in my New Year's resolutions? So first thing I'm going to do is show you, I'm going to say 95% of what I've got because I'm not sure if it's all out. That's how much of a mess this is, okay? So I'm going to show you everything I've got and then I'm going to start with the first makeup basket of the week. So join me. Here we go. This, my friends, is the entire, well, not really, okay, we're going to say 90% of all of the makeup that I have. Um, skin care and body care comes later on in the video. I'm doing a voiceover because thank you, Stephanie, for telling me I lost the bloody audio. Love to know where it went. Anyway, this stuff is everywhere. It's all over my apartment. It's in purses. It's in pockets. And I plan on using it up over the next year. So let's start off with the foundations. I got way too many. This is ridiculous. Just looking at it as I'm speaking. My God. I have all sorts of eye primers and face primers. And my beloved Dr. Jart right there. I have concealers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I found. God knows where the rest are. Uh, blush. Really? Who the hell needs that much blush? Apparently I do. Hmm. Imagine that. I wouldn't even get through two of those blushes in a year. I'm sure of that. It's crazy. What do you guys do when you have like 24 blushes? How long do you keep them for? Um, okay, trios. I have a few wet and wild. Two that I haven't even opened, hence the red sticker. Got me some single eyeshadows. Oh, look, there's my Essence Metal. I love that one. I bought that one in late December. Uh, okay, moving down. Mascaras, tons of them. Oh, look, it's LA Colors, everybody's favorite. Moving on. Eyeliners. Tons of black ones. A couple of lip liners. A little bit of cat fur. Hey, you know, you got a cat, you got cat fur on the carpet, okay? Ah, uh, the famous box of lipsticks, lip glosses, lip products, and balms. I always want to say lip blam. I don't even know why. But anyway, moving on. Doopy doopy doo. All right. Let's go on. Palettes. We got us some palettes. We got Too Faced. We got Dior. We got Fake Mac. We got Givenchy. Hi, Christine. Thank you. I love that one. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. But really, this is too much stuff. Way too much. Oh my gosh. Let's shake that camera for effect. I'm sure it's coming up soon. But anyway, <laughs> that is everything and I plan on going through it and only using that over the next year. Thanks for watching! Moving back into the regular video now. I'm doing a voice over here because my video went too slow for my voice. Now I want to show you this. This is a container that is caving in because of all the crap on top of it and underneath on that third shelf down is my nail polish which I forgot to put into the previous clip. Forgot to pour it all out. This is my linen closet people. This is the honest truth. What does yours look like? Don't judge. So let's go down. Let's go down. <laughs> Down at the bottom here I have a basket which has got face products, body washes, it's half full, it's a big basket. And at the back you see my pink bag, that's the face products that I showed you earlier that I'm still trying to get through. It's a disaster in there. There is so much crap I'm surprised that the shelves haven't fallen down. That is my sample basket that I showed you and the basket I'm showing you there, that tin, I don't even know what's in it. I don't remember what I said in the video. Okay. There is stuff beside the container and in the deep recesses of my closet. I did this so I could be honest with you and show you what's in everything. It's the bathroom. You think that it was all in the London closet? Hell no. Hey, I like my shower cap. <laughs> anyway, it's also in the bathroom, which I didn't clean up. I decided, you know what, I'm just going to show you the way it looks on a normal everyday day. So, yeah, we have a whole lot of crap in there, too. It just never seems to end. So that is everything I've got. Now you've seen it. I'm here to start the process. We're going to start doing a makeup basket of the week again. Oh, yeah, not week and weekend, though, because it's just way too much for me, and I felt like I was scrambling, and oh, my God, it was awful. So I didn't even do it anymore. 
but guess what Mary Mary she happened to notice and she asked me to do it again so just for you <laughs> I can't even do it and be serious I'm gonna do it again okay so here is what we're gonna start out with I am actually gonna show you mm, I'm gonna say 90% of the products that I am going to be using I am going to use until it's used up my event eye cream because it's so small it shouldn't be long <laughs> I'm gonna use that this week I'm also using of course my Nivea pure natural um, moisturizer which I have found out you cannot get in the States but you can get in England and some parts of Europe hmm, and Canada I don't know why you can't get it in the States apparently there is no pure and natural Nivea line at all in the States I don't know I found that a little bit odd so we're using that at night for night cream I'm going to finish up my oh someone's going to kill me because I'm going to butcher this Boja <laughs> recharging night moisture which smells like somebody crushed a plant in your hand and then you smell your hand and you're like it's a plant but anyway that's what it smells like probably because it's all natural wonderful wonderful night cream if I could afford it I would buy it oh wait I wouldn't <laughs> okay <laughs> not allowed to body cream here comes the fun part okay in the fall you know we all naturally go to pumpkin smells and fall leaves scents and stuff and in the summer, you know, we use our summer scents. And then when Christmas time comes around, we start using things like the candy apple and the peppermint and the cinnamon and the spice, right? What do we do in January and February? This is what Kelly does. And I know somebody else does it out there too. Maria, also known as Pebbles Flintstone, I know she does this as well. I pull out the summer scents again because I get really sick and tired of the winter, the snow, the cold, and I want to feel like I'm on a cruise. So what I do... I don't wear it out because I'm not allowed to at work but um, I wear this when I'm at home and before I go to bed I put it on me after my shower this is the most gorgeous summer smell it just reminds me of vacation oh it reminds me of cruise it reminds me of Florida mm. Malibu is that in California Florida I don't even know anyhow I really really like this this is my January I will be wearing this all January and have been wearing it. I love it. What else am I going to use? Oh, okay. Are we going to get into this finally? I'm talking to myself. Yep. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I am going to use my Brocco Fusion on <clears throat> my eczema areas because it works so well and I know somebody out there used my coupon code yay for you I really really hope this product works for you and if you're still wondering about Barocco Fusion I have done a video the link will be below as will the 10% off coupon code because uh, it's on all the way through to the end of April so anyway moving right along foundation MUA Makeup Academy which is based out of England uh, matte foundation shade 2 in honeycomb I'm gonna try and use more of this up because I paid for it and I want to use what I paid for concealer covergirl and Olay simply ageless concealer I go back to this all the time I realize that I have like two of them still I haven't even dented the other two but anyway I have hit pan on this one quite nicely I might say very happy with that so I'm gonna use this because this foundation is not awesome <laughs> and this concealer is so if there's anything that you don't do you will that's my story and I'm sticking to it blush I forgot about it I forgot about it I can't believe I forgot about it who forgets about their essence blushes oh my god essence blush in adorable I love love loved this stuff before I haven't used it for a long time and as I was going through the collection I picked it out and went hey I forgot about you so in it went I also pulled out this which is one of my favorites oh, absolute favorites it is the Smashbox uh, Fusion Soft Lights Baked Starburst palette this is what it looks like this is absolutely gorgeous it's the most beautiful neutral palette that I could ever own as far as I'm concerned anyway because it's just so beautiful and I do I can do so much with it and what I like about the packaging on this stuff is do you see around the edge when you put the lid on you don't have to worry about it ever coming off because you put it on 
and you turn 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 and it's finally tight. You just don't, I never have a problem with that coming loose because it just goes forever. It has uh, quite the thread to get through. A long thread. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Eyeliner. Pulled out NYX in 901 Black. I have this much left. I will be using that up. I also, let's see if there's any other eye products here. Oh, can everybody see the fact that I need to get my highlights done? <laughs> I keep going down like this. <laughs> okay, I pulled out the Revlon Customized Mascara. This is the one that you can go from length and drama to, I don't know what it is, um, length and definition. So you open it, pull it out, and you can turn the wand, which apparently makes the bristles go more or less or something like that. And I know they don't sell it anymore, but I'm going to use it up. And I think that that one is in black brown, actually. Yep, I think so. Okay, moving on to lips. I hauled out some products that I haven't seen in a while. That's for sure. First thing I hauled out was my Rosebud Solve because it is dry lip from hell season up here in a remote part of the world and so you definitely need lip balm. I've got like two or three of them on the go as we speak. I have the Body Shop Lechi one that Meredith you sent me. I have this one on the go and I have a Carmex for those days where I look like I have lip liner on but it's actually just really dry and cracking lips. Yeah, don't ask. Anyhow, moving on. Lip liners. I got two. I pulled out Elizabeth Arden in taupe. Never used it yet. So that one is like a neutrally brown almost, which will go really nicely with my Tiger Eye from Estee Lauder. It's a shimmer. This is the one that Maria, you sent me that I ran out of. And when I opened up the box and I saw that there was another one in there, I was happy. I was doing my happy dance. I was so happy. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I also have another another? No, I have an Elizabeth Arden. Ooh, I got all confused because I have an Arden liner and a Lauder lipstick. So now we're going to Arden lipstick. Oh, and this one is in, come on, you got bifocals now, you can read that. Beauty, which is a nice kind of a darker mauve. And that comes in a lovely little red package that I got a couple of years ago. And I'm going to unwrap, finally, the No Bleeding Lips that I saw on Maria's video. And I ran out and purchased at Sephora when I was down south. I haven't even unwrapped it yet. And I'm positive that I did a video on this before stating, Hey, guess what I found? I forgot I had this. I guess I'll unwrap it and use it. I don't even have an answer for that. I got nothing. So, <laughs> and believe it or not, I have a fourth lip balm in here because I just like the taste of it. And remember I said I love those summer scents? This is an amazing... Oh, I know. I always do that, eh? I smell something and I go, oh. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. Okay. So this is the lip balm that Meredith sent me. Kona Care. I don't know what it's called. Essential Lip Butter. But anyway, it's in like some sort of tropical coconut... Tahitian yum yum flavor. I don't know what it is. That is what is in my, just checking. Yep. I've got a little sharpener in case my NYX goes down. Um, that, my friends, is what is in my bake, my bake up, my makeup basket for the week. I uh, sure hope you enjoyed all this. And here we go. We're on our way, okay? Woo! Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.